Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Pioneer Mill. Uh, we lost a die roll. Let's see what they're going to give us here. Solar Panic. Cool thumb. I like that. All those dinosaurs. That's neat. Oh, this is a bit awkward. I think we'll keep it, though, because we can really set up a heavy board if we pull into some mill. We're really close to consuming Aberration. Uh-oh. Thoughtseize. All right, feel free. Take our Drowned Secrets or Frank Sanity. Both good targets. Took our Drowned. Makes sense. And another land is not helpful here. Passing, okay. So, are you holding something up here? Just gonna pass. Try to set our Frank Sanity. Okay, well, <laughs> they only know about one of them, so. They'll think they're safe. Oh, they let it go? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What are they holding up for then, I wonder? I wonder, I wonder. Hmm. Kiora. Alright, let's get the heavy setup then here. Milling for a ton. And then drop this consuming aberration. There we go. Set up for that big mill. Untap, nice. That's cool. I like that. You got big boys coming out now? Oh yeah, you do. Holy cow. Okay. That's not pretty. I don't like that. Oh, we just cut a card. Alright, we can wait on Consuming Apparition. We're just going to try to get the breaking going because we can mill them for a frick ton next turn. Like a frick ton. They are tapped out. We got double frame. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Can't ask for anything better right there. That's going to be gnarly for them. Both had good turns. I think ours was better. Is this it right here? Oh, this is just game right here. Holy frick. Double frame sanity. Just putting them to zero. Just like that. Holy cow. Let's see what else they got in here really quick. Uh, another Nickel Bolas. Storm. Thoughts. These painful truths. Lots of dragons. Lots of dragons. Anger of the gods. Yeah, it's a big dragon deck. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, cool. So we kind of know what we're up against here. They got a lot of large creatures all of which are pretty expensive for the most part out of range of fatal push for the most part so i don't think fatal push is going to be super effective i guess we bring in our thought collapses let's try to manic scribe is going to help us drop a consuming apparition We'll drop one Vantress. Yeah, sure. Sure. 
gnarly breaking with Fraying Sanity. Uh, this deck uh, lets us set up a little bit, which is nice, so. I just don't want another turn one thought seize. Mm, can't keep this hand. This sucks. Um, so if they do have something, they're just going to take it from us. We'll keep this. We will ditch one of uh, the watery graves. See what they do here, turn one. Not paying the two. That's a good start. That's a good start. And we get another watery grave anyways. It's hilarious. All right. Well, we'll try to attack in as much as we can with the Vantress. Probably have some answers for it, but... Let's see what happens. Unless they brought in Mystical Dispute. You got Mystical Dispute? Nope, okay. So we can uh, venture deeper and breaking next turn, or we can just hold up Thought Collapse if we feel like we need to, but I think we're okay to, to mill and start swinging in. Paying the two, probably gonna play out Kiora, mm-hmm, okay. Untap. It's nice for them. Drown Catacomb. Alright. Start by venturing. Breaking. They gonna counter that one? What you got? They're deciding. I don't know. Do they want to kill the Vantress or? Yep, all right. Nope, can't pay for it. Which means we can't attack with the Vantress, unfortunately. Have to wait another turn. And now they can probably play Bolos if they have him. Looks like they're paying the two, so it looks like they do have him. Nice. Glory bringer. Uh oh. Uh oh. That sucks. Well, goodbye, Vantress. Our whole plan is shut offline. That is unfortunate. Oh, we just keep drawing into this stuff. It's pretty terrible. I'm not going to play on my Merfolk Secret Keeper. I can't block, and it's just going to die from Glorybringer. So we're just going to hold the Thought Collapse and get hit for another four. Bit unfortunate. Use it or lose it, basically. I tapped an extra land just for good measure. Whoopsies. Hit for another four. That's all we can do, really. Let's put this out tapped. Hitting anything good over here? Nothing incredibly good, honestly. Not a pretty way to, to die here. Need some major help. 
We need an into the story into like another mill or we need like into the story into a drown in the lock. And then I'll feel a little bit better about our position. Yeah, why play anything, right? Well, there's a drown in the lock. It's nice. Um, let's go ahead and pass. I'm gonna hold on to the the land in my hand just for good measure. I think when, you know, let them know we're not super empty-handed, holding up something. Body racer. All right. Well, we gotta kill him now. Then he can look at our hand. We're set up for mystical dispute, so we survive another turn, and they're gonna see we just haven't land. Okay. I don't know why they did that. Were they just sick of it? There was our end of the story. We would have drawn. Some good stuff. Some very good stuff. So we would have into the story next turn. Played a Drown Secrets. And just kept the grind going with the Mind Sculpts. For a little bit. Could have played Merfolk Secret Keeper. Oh uh, man, that would have been 14 plus another 4. 16 plus another one. 18. Uh, so we had like 18 mil coming up, still not quite there, plus a Thought Collapse, it's an extra 5. I mean, they had so many turns, I don't know why they gave up that easily. Uh, it's pretty silly, honestly. Um, but whatever. We won, I guess. Feels like a dirty win, they just gave up. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, still a pretty cool matchup, interesting deck, lots of scary dragons, so... If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more Pioneer Mill, and we got more slivers and everything coming up as well, and we will see you guys in the next video.